How are you? So everybody wants to know, what's the strongest tow line? These are the tow lines that our Towboat US towers use aboard their boat. So if you had to pick one, two, three, or four, which one would you think is the strongest line out of these four? I gotta go with the biggest one. You'd think that, right? Yes, I This would. is actually what the Coast Guard uses, and it's, we commonly call it Coast Guard line. I know that's unofficial. It's uh -huh. about 25,000 pounds breaking strength. It's great to hold in all, all weather, but you can see the size of it. It takes up a lot of room. Yes. So on a 41-foot lifeboat, that's fine, but on a towboat U.S. boat, we don't have that much room. So what we like to do is we use what's called am steel, and this is a half-inch am steel. 17 tons about wow. in pulling strength, breaking strength, and then this is a smaller cousin of it. This is 3 eighths, and this is about 19. Both these three lines all do the same thing. They have a little bit of stretch. This has a little bit more stretch, and it allows us to tow a boat and keep the customer comfortable when you when you splay out a good 100, 200 feet between boats, especially if there's a swell or wave action. Yeah. You don't want to go herky-jerky with anybody. This line is 21,000 breaking, 21,000 pound breaking strength, and we use this line because it has no stretch, and it's best used for taking a boat off a beach or if they run aground. Because what happens when people run aground is they run aground in a royal way. They yeah. don't just go up on a shoal and 10 feet and turn off. They're usually full board. By the time they pull back, the engine's whining, and they're a good 100 feet, 200 feet sometimes up under the shoal. Yeah. And you don't want to rubber band them, I call that, off the beach. You want to be able to pull them smoothly with the same amount of power as the tow vessel so nothing, you know, moves suddenly, no hardware gets yanked off, and it's much safer. So this line will be stretched. They'll, they'll run this line from the tow boat, which is in deep water, sometimes two, three hundred feet to the boat that's, you know, high aground or in a muck or in a shallow like that, and they'll be able to safely turn the boat around. They hook to the bow eye, as in that picture right there. They turn the boat around and they pull them right back out the way they came in with this kind of line. And then if they're, like I said, if they're on the, on the lake, they'll usually hook up with something like this, a little bit of stretch, provides a good tow. Then when they get into a harbor or into a bay, they'll do what's called a hip tow, and they'll bring the, the customer's boat right next to their own boat tight. And that let, allows them to maneuver in small areas and put them right back in the slip where they came from. And then they can get repairs in the morning or something like that. But, uh, you know, this is very expensive line. The line that you see here today, these are only 20-foot sections. This is about $600 with the line, so you can understand why a tow, uh, an on-the-water tow can so be so costly. expensive. Yeah. And so that's why we tell people, get an on-the-water towing plan, very much like a AAA or, or a roadside assistance club for boats with Boat US. It's $72 for freshwater unlimited towing on any freshwater lake. And it's great insurance. You, your day will get a lot better when you'll be able to call somebody and have them come get you if you run aground. A lot less worry. A lot less sure. worry. Yeah. But uh, you can see, it's a, you know, this is a professional towing line and it's not cheap. Yeah. It's not dock line. It's not that poly pro line that some people use for, for towing skiers. That's great for that. But none of that should be used ever for towing. If you'd like to learn more about Boat US Towing Service, visit us at BoatUS.com.